Hey, hello, good morning. Hey, sorry. Rosie, Katie, Lucy, Lucy, yes, Rosie, yes, Katie, and I don't know where Lucy is. Okay. Oh, you guys have done loads. Okay, so someone explain this slide to me. So the first slide is about waste and the different types of waste. The second slide is, is about the definite, the different you know, waste we can do, you know, we can do to work. Mm -hmm. They reduce the, um, each kind of waste and the third, and the third, third slide is, is um, how we can they transport the waste without um, without humans transporting them to landfills. Okay. And, and the fourth slide is the conclusion. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, look, it, it looks really good. I like the slide template. It looks really nice. Um. Just be aware that you're going to need more than this, okay? Like, if this is what you're showing me. I would say that this presentation is too short. Considering we spoke about different types of waste disposal, you need to put in your measurements. You need to show your chart with the measurements you've done. You need to explain the uh, waste disposal plan that you're going to put in place. You need to do all these things as well. So you're going to have to put more information into this presentation, okay? Okay. Initially, this looks pretty good, but we need a. Uh, it needs more information. It needs to be longer. So, Kimmy, Terry, Lily, and Hun. Kimmy, right? Explain your uh, presentation to me so far. Like the introduction is first. The first slide is Aldo and team members. The second is some bikes, and the third slide is our report. Okay, table, yeah. Um, yeah, look, the table looks really good uh, so far. Um, and the slide looks okay. It just, you, you, you're kind of missing an introduction. You're, you're missing an explanation about what the project is. So you need to explain what the project is, uh, what you have to do in the project. And then I would give an explanation about solid waste. Okay, this looks okay. At the same time, I would make sure that you, you you make sure to explain what the project is about, give an introduction to the project, and then give an introduction as to what solid waste is. Okay, maybe a good thing okay. to you, a good thing to you would be able to uh, make a table of contents with the plan that you did already. So make a table of contents with the plan, then start doing the table of contents. Okay, might be easier for you guys. Understand? Yes. Okay, cool. So I need to make sure that that's what you do. So first of all, make a table of contents. Yes. Say slide one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Say what they are and then start doing them that way. It might be easier for you to do that way, okay? Like this one, Lim B, Lim A, Pumpkin, and Nobel Kang, no? Right, okay, so what's what's next for you guys? What, what do you need to do next? Of course, uh, we record... Uh, then we write the record uh, in a, uh, and then we uh, separate uh, the record uh, and, uh, and the information into piece. Then we write in the pre presentation. We uh, will also give picture to tell about the information. Okay. Oh, look, what, what you guys need to do is you need to set up a table of contents. So you need to say what slide one to eight is going to be. You need to make sure that you are including information about each one of the slides. I really like this. This is really good. It's really, really good. It's really fun. It's going to catch people's attention. People are going to pay attention. And what I want to be sure is that when you are doing this, that you make sure that the information is uh, supports what you've got in the background, right? So today we're going to talk about solid waste, give an explanation about solid waste. But before that, we would have a slide like here. And it would be, if I could see the writing, production, I would make sure to explain, you know, explain what you are doing projects, what you had to do, 
Okay. So that's next steps for you guys, right? Well. Understand? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. Cool, good job. And then last one that we have. Tell me what's, uh, what's wrong with your presentation. So again, you guys need to make a table of contents to explain what all your slides are gonna be. You need to make sure you introduce the project correctly. That's not a correct introduction. Oh, we're gonna talk about solid waste. And then I start talking about plastics. So you're missing a step there. You need to focus on answering what is solid waste first, right? You need to answer that question and explain the project before you start talking about plastic and its properties. I like this, I like this, it's good. A lot of information, but it's quite good. At the same time, focus on small bits first. Focus on, focus on getting the structure of the presentation right, making a table of contents and by focusing on the correct introduction, okay? What I'll do is I'll send Miss Ling um, a comment, some comments about your presentation so far with what I think your next steps should be. Okay. Right. Also, I hope you are ready to get your uh, waste disposal plans in place. So today will be your first day of your plans. So up to now, you have been measuring your waste at home and you have been marking down how much trash you, uh, you've been created in your own house. Today, I want you to put your disposal plan in place to try and reduce the amount of waste in your home. So today, you will make your measurements as normal, but tomorrow is when you should start to see the waste reduced, okay? So please make sure you all put that into plan tonight. I'll remind you at the end of class as well. So yesterday, we started talking about packaging, okay? Packaging is what something is wrapped up in. It is uh, the protective layer, the outside layer of a product to keep the product safe. Most of the time it's to make sure the oxygen doesn't get to it because imagine you had some food and oxygen got into your food, it's gonna make the food go bad. If you have electronics, you need to package it up with styrofoam or something on the outside so if it falls, it doesn't break. You need to put liquid into bottles to keep the liquid in one place. Otherwise, you just have liquid all over the floor. Remember, it's to protect easy breakable packages. You have products like plastics. Plastics are made from petrol or oil, and they are made from many, many types of packaging materials. Manufacturing of packaging, it has the same problems. Remember, we looked at manufacturing. That We looked at there is 10 times more waste created from manufacturing than there is from the actual product itself. The same goes for packaging as well. When you make packaging, you're actually creating just as much waste as you would before. Um, heavy or bulky packaging is harder to transport and you actually increase your costs, right? So manufacturing, getting raw materials costs money, okay? Costs money to the environment, Steve. Um, it can be hard for the new environment. Also, when you have heavier packaging, you need to transport it with trucks, and trucks, they pollute the air, right? So there's lots and lots of pollution that can come from packaging. So let's think about that. Explain two reasons why packaging adds cost to a product. Have a look here and see if you can find the answer. Give two reasons why packaging adds cost. Getting the raw material and then it will be harmful to the environment. Yeah, but we're not talking about the environment. We're just talking about cost. So raw materials, getting raw materials increases the cost another reason that the cost increases it increased cost because getting raw materials is expensive and then the second one is transporting packaging with trucks adds to the cost right it's right there there See, look, it requires more trucks to transfer products with larger packages, more trucks create more pollution and more cost for the products. So explain two ways in which much packaging can harm the environment. How can packaging harm the environment? Rosie. Um, uh, more heavy packaging is more, like, it is harder to uh, transport. 
so it need it requires more trucks to uh, transport it yep. and uh, more trucks will create more pollution yep very good use the trucks to transport can cause pollution increase very good and what's another one lily uh, it is raw, getting raw materials is uh, like, yeah. uh, not good for the environment. That's perfect. Getting raw materials <clears throat> is harmful for the environment. Good job. Well done. How many of these ones? Okay. Atmosphere. You can find the matching explanation for the atmosphere. Steve, draw a line to find the matching uh, explanation for atmosphere. Yeah, perfect. Good stuff. Well done. Uh, environment. Um, Lam A, environment. Yeah, perfect. Good job. Lily, next one. Ground water. Uh, the reason I've asked you these questions and the reason I put this here is because we're going to ta start talking about uh drinking water how is drinking water made safe to clean or how how is drinking water made safe how do they make it safe um pat how do they do that uh it has a small layer that blocks solids and lets the water seep through mm, kind of okay so basically what needs to happen for water to be made safe is it needs to go to a water treatment plant so before water becomes safe, it goes to a treatment plant. It looks something like this, right? It looks like all these different uh, circles. And as you can see, the water is actually different colors in pretty much all of them, right? It looks completely different. Here, waste and dirt is removed from the water, and it takes a number of steps to do it. First thing they do is they take out really big waste, then small waste, and they start actually adding chemicals to the water as well. The chemicals that they add to the water helps bring all the little bits of waste together and actually starts to kill the bacteria in the water too. So I have a video for you. Right, so that is the, the, water, the, the water treatment process. That's what water has to go through in order for it to be cleaned and to be ready to use. So tell me something that you learned from the video, Hun. Um, I learned that like for the water that we drink, it must go through layers of layers to have like like a good quality of water so we so we can drink it. Yep, exactly. Who can tell me some of the, the layers it goes through? What, what are some of the steps it goes through? Uh, filtration and disinfection. Yeah, filtration, disinfection, good job. There's also clarification and flocculation as well, but don't worry too much about them. Now, the reason I wanted to show you that is because I want to start talking about hazardous or toxic waste, okay? So before water enters the treatment plant, it is hazardous or it could be toxic. It could contain viruses or germs. It could make you sick. That's hazardous, right? Hazardous means anything that could cause harm to a living thing. And toxic means, again, that they're, they're, they're synonyms of each other. So what are some other things that are hazardous, that are, that are toxic? Chemical uh, disinfectants like soap and chlorine. Yeah, there's lots, right? So these are all the things in your own home that are potentially hazardous, right? You have oil, light bulbs, spray cans, even paint, bleach, like cleaning products, batteries, like bits for your car, all of these things, they are potentially hazardous, okay? Because if they are added into the environment, they can have negative, they can have toxic effects on the environment as well. Even things like paint, paint contains hard metals. Hard metals, when they get into water, they're very hard to remove. And that's the same idea with paints. Paints contain heavy, heavy metals like cadmium and lead. And these things are actually dangerous for you. Okay. I'm going to teach you this word contamination. 
Contamination means to make something unclear, impure, or polluted. So what are some ways that people contaminate the environment? Noob, what's some ways that people contaminate the environment? How do, they, how do people pollute the environment? Mm, uh, the way that people let's say me contaminate uh, is like uh, throw trash into the sea. Yeah, throw trash into the sea. Yes, good job. Well done. Think about cars, think about bikes. They release hazardous gases into the air, right? Okay. Right, all of you, uh, we don't have too much time. Yeah. So, uh, for your homework, okay? Uh, your homework, I want you to put your waste reduction plan in place for your own home, okay? I want you to put it into action, and I want you to start to measure the results from it, okay? So, from today, you need to put your reduction plan in place to try to reduce the amount of waste in your own home. Make sure you know and understand your reduction plans because it's not just in one home, it's in all of your group's home, okay? You need to do it across all of your homes. You need to do the same plan across every single home, okay? And I'll also send you a quizzes as well for your homework. Okay, anyone else, any questions before we leave? No? Okay, cool. No, bye -bye. no. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. -bye. bye.